Hi, welcome to another video. This is a Linear Technologies Precision Extended Input Range Current Sense Amplifier. So first of all, I made the mistake of buying the MSOP package, which is a micro small outline package, which means the body is not meant to be bigger than three by three millimeter. If you look at this pen tip, that's how small the chip is. Made a mistake, but Fortunately, I've got a, a small soldering iron tip or a soldering iron with look, that's got a, like a pin head on it. I use that. Bought this uh, the chips from Farnell, just uh, just under two pound. A couple of uh, surface mount resistors, which I already had. This one in the middle. Don't know if you better see it, but I'll, I'll show you on a blown up picture. This is a, a 0.02 ohm resistor, half watt. Uh, and then this uh, circuit board just to mount the chip on. The whole lot was roughly eight pound. Uh, and it will give you, obviously convert uh, a current through this resistor, amplifies it in this setup, amplifies it by 50 times, gives you the output here on this scope, uh, converts it to a varying voltage. Uh, so this is the input voltage from your power supply that's the output to the source. These two resistors just drive the inputs, inverting and non-inverting input on the amplifier. This one's supply, this one's earth, and this one is actually set up, this one's 499k, uh, grounding this pin. I'll show you the noise level. Right, well you can see some noise there. That's uh, some of it's because the I've got the meter in series acting as current measurement. If I turn this fluorescent light off, it drops. I've got no decoupling caps, as you probably saw. Nothing on the board at all. No decoupling, no nothing. So you'd expect a bit of noise. And that scope set to five millivolts of division. So it's I'm I'm happy with it. Happy if there's no noise. Uh, I've currently got uh, 30 milliamps passing through that sense resistor. Uh, so if I now turn this meter on, let's get, get, get it in view. Right, so that's measuring, you can see 34 milliamps on the meter. I wind the current up, obviously it's sensitive because I've got it 5 millivolts per square. Alright, so adjust this scope. Right, so now I'm down to 100 millivolts of division. I'm, this is a, a switch mode power supply I'm using. Let me just zoom out and let you see it. Switch mode power supply, dual supply, uh, actually bought that from Farnell too. Capable of delivering two amps per channel. You can double them up or have them in series or parallel, uh, up to about 31 volts, uh, which you can also double up, have them in series or parallel. So you could have 60 volts at two amps or 30 volts at four amps. So what I've got the right hand side is driving the current sense amplifier as you see 3.3 volts and you can literally wind it up to uh, I think it goes up to 36 volts something like that I'll show you the spec sheet later very versatile turn that back down to 3.3 actually I think it works down as low as 2.8 I'll do 3.3 uh, and this is, I've got literally driving current through that sense resistor into a short circuit so I've turned up the voltage and I'm limiting the current so I'm literally driving it as a short circuit right so back to this scope and the meter so if you want to measure current using a pick you could obviously use a series resistor with the load but first of all you can't drive most you can't drive picks uh, pick microcontrollers 
or most of the microcontrollers, you can't drive the input pins over 5 volts. Um, some of the 3.3 3 volt microcontrollers have 5 volt tolerant pins, but using this setup with this current sense amplifier, you can get away with your 30, I think this one's 44 volts uh, down to zero, uh, and obviously we'll just have a few hundred millivolts going into the microcontroller or whatever you're driving. Right, so you can see, hopefully you see the current there, 40 milliamps. So if I drop it back down to nothing, 100 millivolts of division, let's set that up. Set that up for 100 milliamps. Right, that's 100 milliamps, so I'll put that down there. So what, one square 100 milliamps. Just turn the current up. So this is, I've got a calibration error, probably because my little uh, 0.02 ohm resistor, 1% uh, tolerant, tolerance, the 100 ohm resistors, which I'll show you the circuit, they've got something like a 5% tolerance. You can see the 4.99k resistor I used, uh, a mix of a quarter watt and a half watt, uh, varying tolerances, so I've got discrepancies in the actual reading, but it doesn't matter because once I run it into the PIC microcontroller, obviously alter the software to accommodate the proper current. Right, so although that's showing us 200 millivolts, that should equate to 200 milliamps. You can see it's slightly over reading again down to the calibration or tolerances of the resistors. Right, so if I turn it up 300, so we've got 280. Look, if I just 300 milliamps there, you can see we're just over 300 milliamps. So, what's that? Three, about 320 milliamps, something like that. But you can either calibrate the resistors or just alter the program to suit. So that's four, five, six hundred milliamps. Seven hundred milliamps. Actually you can see the higher we go the error is getting larger. But right now well, I'll change this scaling. Mind you, having said that, this uh, old scope's probably not that accurate. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I, I, I dropped something on the screen, or something dropped on the screen and damaged it, hence that murky display. So if I change that, well, it's around 500 millivolts per division. Drop that back down. Right, that's naught down there. Maybe I'll set it up to a line. Well, so we've got 500 milliamps, which equates to 500 millivolts. Turn the current up. There we go, so just Trying to get that spot on. That'll do. 1002 milliamps. And it's gone up two squares, two divisions. So we're getting, I forgot to mention, with this, these settings, these resistors on that board, I'll show you the drawing, we're getting one volt output per amp. So look, you can see we're up to 1.5 amps. 1,500 milliamps, which so we've got one and a half squares, and now this is a limit of the power supply, just over, I said 2.07 amps, so whack it back down to two. Roughly there, 2,000 milliamps, we got one, two, three, four, uh, two volts. 
so pretty accurate I like it right this is the current sense amplifier data sheet so you can see linear technologies uh, as I said this was the micro SOP package so micro small outline package had to use these tweezers to get it on the board uh, you see it's the mod this is a model LT6105 download the data sheet if you want before you uh, purchase it but you can see the operating voltages plus if I ex expand this magnify this for you this is the configuration I'm using That's obviously the amplifier, 200 ohm resistors, and that's the current sense, this 0.02 ohm resistor there. That's my load, uh, the source of the power supply to the load, but I'm using a short circuit, literally shorting the power supply, I've got it in current limit. This is the 4.99k resistor out. Using these values, you get the current there, sorry, the amplifier gain of 50. And you will see on the out here, one volt per amp so you've got one amp there meant to get one volt out here you saw I saw yes small inaccuracies in my setup right shut that down this is a board I used from Farnell to mount the chip you can see mount made uh, by Roth Electronic uh, you can see the see there 5 bound 83 and there's the part number in the middle or the order, order code. Let me zoom you in. So there's the order code 1287740. £5.83 plus the bat. I've got a shopping basket. These are the parts I picked up. Um, was it this morning or yesterday? I forget. So the linear technologies, there's the chip. One pound seventy-one. Hopefully, you can see the part number. I'll make that bigger for you. That's the part number for the chip. That's the part number for the board, and that's the part number. I bought ten in case I need to adjust the values. That's a point zero two ohm half watt resistor. And that's the part number for that. As I say, I got mine from Farnell. So about roughly eight pound for the lot, plus that. So get rid of that. And finally, if I just double click on that, that's the board. I, I took a photo earlier and just zoomed in. That's the chip mounted to the board. As I say, it's, that's a micro small outline package micro m sop you might want to buy a larger package have a look at one larger package or the sop 23 something like that this is the board 100 ohm 100 ohm and there's my 0.02 ohm current says resistor literally power coming in and out of there so we're drawing current through there measuring the voltage and amplifying it uh, pretty straightforward that's about it um, Obviously you can run the voltage into whatever you like, whether it's a meter uh, that doesn't measure current or some, something to measure voltage, but I specifically want this to run into a, a, a PIC microcontroller, although you might have Arduinos or Freescale or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to obviously convert the current to voltage and run a graph on a TFT probably. Uh, if I do, I'll get back to you later on that one and I'll show you the code. Thank you very much.